This is Drew with thepodcastingstore.com, your one-stop shop for all things podcasting and remote learning. Well, greetings. Today I wanted to talk about adding an audio capture device in OBS. And you could be doing that for a lot of different reasons, uh, whether you're gonna have another person in your scene and you need to capture their audio, or you're putting on a wireless system to do a remote or anything like that. And there's one problem that I've had multiple times with this that I wanna walk you through and how to troubleshoot and solve really easily. It's a simple problem that has a simple solution if you know what you're looking for. So the first step we're going to do here, I'll do a screen share and we're going to add a new audio source here. And actually I'll go over to this other camera you can see. This is the Audio-Technica uh, ATR2100X and we want to add that in as a separate audio source. We'll come back here to our base. So we come here under Sources, I click the plus, Audio Input Capture, and this is the ATR2100X. So we add that in there. Now we can call that whatever we want, but what it also needs to reference from that audio source is something within the computer that it's source, uh, a device. And under here, you can immediately see what the problem is. We've got two devices, which is default and then the Heil PR40. I know I have the PR40 set as the default audio capture device for my computer, which is what that's referencing, which means both of these are actually the same device. And uh, right now it's coming through on the ATR2100X, but it's not actually capturing the audio from that. Um, it, the computer's doing some weird things. Why is it not showing up even though I know that it's connected? Well, let's cancel out of here and uh, we'll kind of start over with this process. So I'll delete that audio capture source there, say yes. Um, and we'll come over here so you can see the, the microphone, do the screen share again. So. The problem is actually within Windows, and I don't know how this works on Mac or if there is a problem on Mac with that, but this is specifically a Windows problem. Uh, so we come over here under Settings, uh, System, and then Sound. So under System Sound, you can see right here, there's a clue to what's going on. The um, ATR2100X is listed as an audio output device because it has a headphone jack. You can actually plug headphones directly into that, which is a super useful feature. Not one we're using now, uh, but I've got my Realtek headphones uh, selected already. But over here, we've got under input, this microphone should be appearing and it's not. And it seems like you should be able to add device and that would solve your problem. It doesn't, it, it does wonky things. It's a, it's a Windows thing again. But when you come under advanced, look under all sound devices because you can turn devices on and off from here. So you click on there and underneath input devices, lo and behold, here is our ATR2100X. Click on that and under general uh, permissions, it is not allowing it to share that microphone with other applications. So what that means is the computer is registering that and it will allow you to use that as an audio input device all day, but it's not sharing it with applications, so it's fairly useless. You gotta make sure that that is selected over here on allow. So now with that allowed, if we come back over to OBS, all of a sudden the, the real magic is gonna happen here. So we add our audio input capture device. We call it ATR2100X. And then back here under the device selection, it appears. So now all of a sudden click OK, and I will mute the Heil. And so now it is actually selecting from the ATR2100X. So we're capturing audio from this new microphone instead of the other one. Super useful feature on that. But like I said, it, I'll turn the Heil back on here. Um, I'll turn that one off because uh, the other thing about this is if we wanted to add that to other scenes, uh, like this one right here, we would have to add that in, uh, again, the ATR2100X. So that's super easy to do once it's already been added in. Uh, again, audio input capture. So we're adding it into the scene now because it exists as a source within OBS. I know these are concepts that you got to wrap your head around. But if we come under Create New, where we add existing ATR2100X, hit OK, bang. It is now available on this uh, scene and I can turn that on and then turn the Heil off and we're working off of this microphone. So I know that that's a kind of a juggling way of, uh, of doing it here. I'm gonna turn off the, go back here. So anyway, back to my uh, base scene here, make sure everything is copacetic, which it is. So at any rate, that is how to add an audio input capture device into OBS and how to troubleshoot when it's not showing up. Like I said, it's a problem that I'm not sure what exactly causes it, but I've had it multiple times now and wasted way too much time chasing it. So I figured I'd share that tip with you so that uh, you could save some time when you're creating some great video content using OBS. And again, OBS is a free open source software, very, very powerful, um, very, 
very useful. You can do all kinds of cool stuff with it. I'll be doing some future videos showing some more features of that. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Check out some of the other videos from the channel as well because there's some really great tips in there. And we'll see you next time. If you're facing a unique problem with podcasting or remote learning, we can help. Reach out to us at thepodcastingstore.com and we'll see what solutions we can find for you. And if you like what you hear, do me a favor and tell a friend. Follow us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and sign up for our e-newsletter and you'll never miss another podcast or video again. This is Drew with thepodcastingstore.com. Thank you for listening.